Hi everyone, today I'm tying a excellent surface pattern. It's a Bob's Banger. Um, fantastic, fantastic popper or slider, depending on the head, the, the head that you put on it. You can be tied in a range of colours and sizes for a whole range of species. Um, straight bass, jacks, take them offshore, I like them for uh, mahi mahi, bonitas, um, skipjack, anything. They're, 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 it's, a, it's a great popper and it's dead easy to tie and it's quite durable as well so it's, it's well worth um, having some in your box. So I've got a, this is quite a big, um, a big one I'm tying, I'm tying it in a 3 aught Gamma Katsu SP11 3L 3H, um, but you can use whatever long shank salt water hook you prefer. This is this is pretty much the only long shank salt water hook I'm, I, I would I would use really. Um, well, for any any kind of fish that is going to pull back seriously, you know, um, I don't mind lighter wire stuff for small species like bream and croaker and all that, that's no problem. But for you know, serious fish, fish that fish that take a bit of stick, you really want to uh, plenty of want to have plenty of hook. So I've run on a uh, base, a thread. This is uh, three or thread. Um, in Bob Popovic's book, he recommends um, rod whip and thread, but I'm out of that, so I'm just using three or, and it's fine. So I'm tying in a tail of bucktail. This is a white version, and I'm just. Wrapping it, and I'm leaving the tail, you know, shank and a half, something like that, fairly long. And I've got a, just a head here, and I'll come, just come in and make sure that I've got plenty of room. Um, oops. Um, yeah, so you, as long as you make sure you've got plenty of space for for the the, the popper head, and I'll just before I cover this up completely, I'll put some head cement on it for a bit of durability, just build, building a bit of extra strength into the fly, you know. And you don't need it's a, it's a fairly tough fly anyway. Um, the Estaz body takes a bit of a, a beating. I mean, they are, they're really quick to tie. I mean, maybe if you're fishing for something really toothy, um, you might replace the tail material. You might swap the bucktail out for the synthetic, or something like um, synthetic yak. But, uh, the bucktail's also got a bit of buoyancy in it, so it helps the, the fly to sit le or close to level on the surface film. So I'm just going to add a bit of flash to the tail, this is optional. Um, actually, here's a body that I put, tied earlier with no flash, um, and I just forgot to put it in. It's I'm not convinced that it really makes that big a difference in the, on these because you've got a lot of flash with your foiled head and the Estaz body. So, you okay, know, just kind of judge roughly where the head's going to come. So it's about there. And it's always, it's always basically the same. Um, 
I'll just build a wee, a wee bump there so I can come back to it. It's always basically the same size, le or the same length that I use. Um, I use the live body foam cylinders. Uh, and just cut look, cut them in half. So you get two heads out of one cylinder. And the beauty of it is you can sort of swap them out depending on you know maybe you want if it's a windy day and there's a bit of a chop you might want a bigger pop so you can go with a larger head or if it's calm you might want more of a sort of slider presentation so you just stick on a a narrower head and you might drop from a three quarter inch to a half inch or, or so so I'm just uh, winding a body of Estaz or Cactus Chenille whichever brand you like really Estaz is good um, and this is Estaz Grande because it's the bigger fly. Um, obviously you just adjust the size to suit. And when you get to roughly where the head's going to be, that looks fine. Come over your thread, and a turn in front of the stars, and another one over the over it. That's you. Nice and nice and tight. And and then just, go, just quickly check that it's roughly right. That's fine. Um. And then you just tidy everything up. Dead easy. So then just make sure you've got the front portion of the shank well built up with thread. Um, a few layers is all you need. Uh, just something to give the foam a grip to, you know. Um, and if you change heads out a lot, you'll eventually they'll sort of wear, and then you might want to glue it on. But I generally just um, I generally just let's swap out the head and just replace it if need be, you know. Um, but the the the, the last. The last for ages. So that's basically it. I've just built up a wee bit of thread there and whip finished. Just got to come in with some head cement. You can use super glue, whatever you like. And give it, give it a good heavy coat that will soak in. That's fine. And then that's the tying. Now, obviously, you need to let that dry. Um, if you if you want to be able to change the head, you don't want. To, if you push the head onto the wet cement or glue, that's it. But um, I like to. It's not very well cut. Actually. I like to have you know a few. Um, a few bodies and a few different heads. You now you can you can see the difference. It's the same size fly, but the 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 citrus version has obviously got a a much bigger head. It's going to create a lot more disturbance. Sometimes you want that. Sometimes you want less. And the heads are dead easy. It's just um, you take some prismatic tape. Wrap it one and a half times around the tube 
and then stick some eyes on. I always like to um, stick my eye. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you can actually see that in the camera. You might be able to. Um, to stick the eye, one of the eyes over the tag end of the the, the prismatic tape, just to give it a bit more grip, and also super glue the eyes on, just for a bit of again a bit of durability. And it's but it's surprisingly tough. You know the tape holds up quite well and protects the foam, and I think because the foam's soft. Um, it stops the tape just bursting with with teeth just instantly. But um that's it. Dead easy, dead quick. Great fly. Um I mean tie them I mean this is probably as big as I would tie them on a hook. If you've gone bigger you probably as well stick it in a tube. Um but you can tie them down, I tie them down as small as like a uh, you know, wee sort of inch and a half on a size size one um, for the sea, for Japanese sea bass. But there you go, Bob's buyer, absolute deadly, absolute classic. Get some in your box, catch some fish in them. I hope you liked that. If you did or if you didn't. Leave some comments below, let us know what you think. Let me know what sort of flies you would like to be tied. I like to see tying if there's something that you're unsure of. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more HD videos. Thanks a lot guys, bye.